Badagri General Hospital is the first health facility visited to capture the New Year babies. The first baby of 2024 from this dedicated maternal and child centre in Badagri comes from Mr. and Mrs. Echo Harry, who have waited on the Lord for five years before having their bundle of joy at 12.04 a.m., weighing 3.6 kg. It's a boy, and the couple is grateful to God for the unexpected New Year gift. Though I was expecting the baby this January, but I didn't know it's going to be a New Year gift. <laughs> so I'm very excited. I'm very grateful to God. This baby is a miracle. Um, we've waited for five years. And I think God has given us um, something to wipe away our tears. For five years, it says, I will, I will give you double for your shame. The second baby is a girl who arrived at 1.14 a.m. and the mother can barely hide her feelings. She's my first baby, my first darling, the one who made me a mother. The Lagos State Government has made it a tradition to support couples with the first babies of the year. Wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibija Kwesanwulu, and wife of the Deputy Governor, Uluremi Hamzat, are here to hand over the gift items to the lucky families. Speaking to the gathering outside the ward, the state government says continuous attention will be given to the health sector, but appeal to residents to register under the state health insurance scheme. The Ministry of Health is committed to the reduction of maternal, neonatal and child morbidity and mortality rate. Till date, the government has provided about 11 maternal and child centers with modern equipment and highly skilled, motivated healthcare workers to provide court service to its citizenry. As a government, we are committed to creating an environment where every child will strive perfectly like their con counter counterparts in, develop in developed countries, where quality healthcare services will be accessible and equitable using appropriate modern technology through highly motivated healthcare workers. Support for maternal and child healthcare will be one of our highest priorities. Even as they celebrate New Year babies, Dr. Ibija Kwesanwolu also uses the opportunity to speak on sexual and gender-based violence. Let's spread the word out there to the people in the community to enroll in the Lagos State Health Insurance Scheme. Also, we use this opportunity to please um, be watchers for sexual and gender-based violence out there. We have gone to the schools, we have preached about sexual and gender-based violence. It is not allowed. It is zero tolerance in Lagos State. At Amu Wardofi Maternal and Child Center, twin boys were also delivered at 12.07 a.m. and 12.09 a.m. It wasn't my first kind of delivery. It's the second, and um, I'm grateful for the success. So, they're boys, and the first one weighs 3 kg, while the second weighs 3.5 kg. Babies delivered on January 1st, 2021, 2022 and 2023 were present at the event to ensure they are all well taken care of. General Hospital in Ajerobi delivered a baby boy at 12.01 a.m. to the Balogun family. While General Hospital Apapa also recorded another baby boy at 12.38 a.m. The Lagos State Government has assured parents of the New Year babies that they will keep in touch with the children to track their well-being.